November, November 2014. All right, what do I have here? 54 seconds left, I'll pause that. So I'm gonna toss all of those. Something, go through a drawer, go through your little pantry section, whatever it is, go through your purse. <laughs> Well, hello friends. Today I am going to share a little bit of homemaking motivation with you. I want to do some five minute declutters. Okay, five to 10 minutes, I think is what it's gonna end up being. There's a few areas in my home that I just need to go through, take a few minutes, set my phone timer and get it done. So I've been watching Natalie Bennett and she did this and I do this often. I just don't ever set a timer. And so I thought, okay, I'm gonna encourage you guys through this and get a few little areas done with de or decluttering, not deep cleaning, that's a whole nother video, and get some things cleaned out that maybe need to be gone through, like the diaper bag backpack, like my little pantry cupboard. So just a few areas that I wanna share with you today you can hopefully watch this and do it at the same time. You can just watch this and be encouraged to do it when you have the time. Um, you can ask some kiddos to help you if that is an option. And so we just hopefully motivate you to do these areas today. And I find when I'm watching something, I can often just be like, all right, I'm gonna go do this. And <laughs> it encourages me. So I'm enjoying my coffee right now. I am now going to get up and go take care of the first area, which is my upper little pantry cupboard. All right, so this is my space up here. I have not looked through this at all yet. I'm going to grab a chair. And start pulling some stuff out. November 2014. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's 2023 right now. <laughs> That's bad. Hmm. An empty bag. <laughs> I need to refill my rice. Some other beans I'll need to refill. Never gonna use that. And one thing to do is do a little bit. Okay, let's pause. About two minutes left, and I didn't really wipe anything down other than just a quick little bit of wiping. And it just made me realize that what I need to restock and that that cupboard is actually really empty. I'll show you here in a minute. But I do have a pantry downstairs or like a food storage room that I use. So I have to just go downstairs to get stuff. But I could have some more supply up here, which is great. But I had gone through that cupboard multiple times and missed some of those items. And just things I was being a little hardcore on, like eh, we're not gonna use it, so let's get rid of it. And some expired things. And like I showed, it's not a time to deep clean. I just did a really quick wipe down where there were some paint chips so it didn't keep falling out. But let me show you what I got rid of and then show you the cupboard real quick. And that was three minutes, like so fast. And I can throw some of this stuff away because everything is expired. So, and move one thing, that's all I need to do. Okay, so half open bag of something. <laughs> we're not gonna end up eating this and I think it's expired. This you saw me. What's the expiration date? 2014. That is when I got married was 2014. Woofda, nine years ago. And this Susie Ginger is four years old too. I don't know, maybe Ginger's still good, but I'm not gonna risk it. I'll get rid of it. And then I just needed to move these to like my baking section. But wow, that was super easy. Oh, and an empty bag. 
So nothing fancy, it just shows I need some more dry beans. And I had some extra pastas back here. I don't have a whole lot stored there. Like my cans, I <laughs> had some really sparse right now there. So yeah, I have a lot of stuff downstairs that I could potentially bring up to make it easily accessible up here, but I don't mind the exercise of the steps. So, three minutes. That's all this little cupboard took to get um, just decluttered a little bit. The next area I wanna tackle is actually my sweaters and shirts drawer. So this will be a little bit trickier because I am in my third trimester right now, and so it's springtime. We're kind of in transition. It's still, still kind of wintry. Like, today it's in the low 40s but rainy. So, um, I will have to figure out what I need to get rid of, but I can declutter the sweaters that are like winter heavy and that are uh, not fitting currently right now. And then some t-shirts that I know I haven't worn during pregnancy or long sleeves and then some other shirts potentially. So we'll see how this goes, but I have a basket right here that I know I have one in here that I can declutter. So let me set my timer. All right, five minutes and start pulling stuff out. here 54 seconds left I'll pause that all right and I'm gonna donate some of these maternity things because I just don't wear them um, and then these are wool this one is and this one's too short so I need to tuck those away for next winter because they worked for maternity but they also will work non maternity so four minutes in decluttering that area all right I'm back in the kitchen and I'm gonna do these two drawers. So I need to restart my timer here. Um, we just have some random stuff in here. So I don't even know, <laughs> some mail things, um, checkbooks. So I'm just going to start my timer and get going. It's pretty incredible what all we put back in the wrong places and what all can be just run away or moved back to the right location and it truly takes less than five minutes yeah I'm talking in this video here but I kind of just was rambly so I thought I would just do a speed up and a little voiceover but that way you still got the motivation as well Location, throw these away. So, a couple things go downstairs, actually, all of that. But I am going to just quickly wipe that up since I have the time to do so. Let's do that real quick. purse I don't carry a big purse because I still have this and I'm gonna go through so the purse is usually just for like dates if I'm going out on my own um, I do carry it I guess when I do have the girls with me too so I just have like a cross the body leather little purse that I really love and I really like having because it can fit some of my essentials in there so I am gonna go through this and see what I need to declutter. Oh, let me start my timer first, and I'm gonna try to get the diaper bag in it too. So 
Diaper bag isn't really used for diapers anymore, um, but in two months <laughs> it will be. It's kind of more for like going to church to put toys in, that type of thing. So let me get my timer here and let's get started. I do keep the fingernail clippers. My young loving lipstick. This is great stuff. Stress away roller. So that'll stay there. Okay, let's see. Oh, receipt. Throw that away. Let's see what else is in here. Again, I must have felt like I needed to explain every little thing that was in my purse, but you don't need to know all the things that are in there. But I did get rid of just a lot of receipts. Like I said, I do declutter it about weekly, and with it being so small of a purse, which I'm an advocate of, um, because then you just don't hoard a lot of stuff, then it was just a lot more simple to get rid of things. <laughs> Okay, purse is done. How much time do I have left? Two minutes. Whew. Let's see if I can get through my diaper bag. All right, so this is going to be interesting. Old snacks. They get snacks from their Sunday school teacher. So some boogie hand wipes. <laughs> we'll keep those in there. So things that I often keep in my diaper bag include some healthy snacks, a few little books, writing things. Um, some like fidgety things like poppets, um, just a few things like that just to keep them occupied mainly during church or in the vehicle as well. There is one thing that is tricky with Littles because you want to find what's special but some of these little things that they just colored in church is just to keep them occupied. So I'm gonna toss all of those. There's no sentimental value to any of those. Another book to put in here, okay. So I'm not worried about getting rid of some of those things. And another little sticker, okay. So, I should have brought a trash in here. Okay, so paper clutter in the diaper bag and receipts. Truly, that's about it in my purse. I really try to not keep a lot of stuff in these. Every Sunday after church, I usually pull stuff out um, and out of my purse. If I go somewhere that day with just my purse, I will pull stuff out too. So that is nice to have finished. It did take a little longer than five minutes, but I did say five to 10 and everything else has been cut short. So this works. Okay, so I just wanted to encourage you today to go through, declutter a few areas, move things back to where they need to be, and take just five minutes. Set that five minute timer. Um, set the time of when your kids are maybe writing in a school book or have them read a book for a little while while you go declutter something, go through a drawer, go through your little pantry section, whatever it is, go through your purse. <laughs> and declutter so hopefully you are encouraged today to do a little bit of decluttering and it's springtime so just freshening things up maybe do a little car declutter get that refreshed and just be encouraged knowing you can do this take a little bit of time and you will have success in what you do with your home with your space and just take care for it so hope you're having a blessed and wonderful day, friends, and I will talk with you in my next video.